What's this? Car, good job. Welcome to Coleman Hall at the Troy University campus in Dothan, Alabama. The 14,000 square foot facility houses the Coleman Center for Early Learning and Family Enrichment. Thanks to a new federal grant, it will be seeing improvements coming soon. The Coleman Center, which will have been open for a year on September 9th, is home to 70 full-time young students aged infant to five years old. A federal grant received by the center worth over half a million dollars will go towards continuing to grow the center, reaching the Wiregrass area's youngest generation at its most vital age. These grants from the Alabama Department of Early Childhood are extremely important to our success. Um, like I said, they are enabling us to provide a solid foundation for these children, for their parents, for the staff. It's, um, and it's, it's um, just a focus on the whole child. And without this funding, um, we would not be able to do all that we know that we should do um, just because the funding ha needs to be there. With the grant set to begin on September 1st, Director Mitta says the center is already mapping out how the funds will be used. We are all in the process of having positions posted, working on budgets, looking at, um, you know, Add, adding additional staff, uh, equipment purchasing, and, uh, and all of those. Goes. So we're, we're right now we're in the planning stages. <laughs> As the center is set to rapidly grow, Mita says they hope to become a model for other early learning centers in the state. And we're thankful for this grant funding so that we really can make uh, Coleman Center a model for the Wiregrass. Um, this is really the way that all early childhood programs should be run and fortunately we will be a model for that and hopefully that you know these will continue to spread throughout the state. Reporting from the Troy University campus in Dothan, Alabama, Sam Granville, Troy, Trojan Vision News.